Welcome back YouTubers and today I've got a little how-to video uh, for you. This is my wife's CRV Honda 2010 and uh, she's been getting on me uh, asking for me to change the oil so what I'm gonna be doing in this video here a little bit more of common vehicle um, we're gonna go over changing the oil we're going to maybe check a few things here so you, you pop the hood okay as of right now I'm just running the vehicle and warming it up this is something common with a lot of vehicles but what you're gonna see especially newer vehicles all right you get in then you see oh my goodness my oil life it's at 15 percent 20 percent whatever the maintenance indicator a little wrench comes on all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and change the oil uh, specifically what it's gonna be asking for in the manual and then I'm gonna go over a couple uh, steps on how to clear get that cleared off of your dash so it doesn't keep coming on so I'll be back here in just a second when we get this vehicle warmed up inside and prepped for a oil change all right now the vehicle is back inside <clears throat> the engine is warmed up and uh, before we get started on anything you want a couple stuff uh, things especially like a oil drain pan definitely want to make sure you've got the oil here uh, some tools that you're gonna need for the job um, you acquire more tools the more you work on stuff if your toolbox is right next to it you don't have to lay it on the floor like I did but mine's a little bit of a distance so I hate going back and forth and of course an oil filter alright um, before I get started though I always like to check the oil that's currently in there I just want to see where it's at did I lose any how far down is it what color is it I look at some of that stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this dipstick out and take a look alright you can kind of see right here where the oil is at it's right up there to the second hole which is really good so and the color looks pretty good especially now that it's weighed is due for an oil change so not so bad so now we're going to move on underneath the vehicle I'm going to wipe this off stick it back in the uh, hole here this is where you, you, your dipstick's at you see the dipstick right here it goes right into there and um go underneath now one thing cool about the CRV is that it's high enough high enough off the ground where you can just slide this oil pan you know or catch can or whatever you want to call it right underneath so all you gotta do is just loosen the bolt take the filter off and everything's right there so we're gonna go ahead and hit that up next alright we're in the uh, underbelly of the beast as you can see there's the oil filter just direct all I'm doing is just reach it up under the front bumper and what you see there's some words right there kinda of difficult to see but if you there's a bolt that bolt right there loosen that sucker and be careful when you take it off so it doesn't like uh, dump oil everywhere you get this oil pan up underneath it correctly and don't burn your fingers let the engine cool down for a second and then uh, I like to just grab on to make sure you have plenty of rags around so you can wipe your fingers off depending on how much the oil gushes out then we'll go ahead and remove this alright I just push down on this right here this little breaker bar with a socket on here size uh, 17 I guess 17 millimeter I just gave it a little bit of a tap and loosened it right up so now I'm going to take this drain plug out and hoping I'll get all kinds of oil on myself Go ahead and I always try to challenge myself to see how little I get on me alright here goes nothing boom that wasn't much at all so I'll come back after this is done draining, then we'll go ahead and take this filter off. Alright, while well, we have that oil still draining down there, I'm going to take this time to go ahead and lubricate the oil, or the gasket here on the oil filter with some of my 
clean engine oil. You just take a little bit on your finger and you pull it all around the seal here. Just to, you don't get anything all jammed up once it's installed and you have a hard time getting these off. Stabbing them with screwdrivers, things like that, just to get them loose. So I'm going to go ahead and do that while we're waiting. Alright, now that we're under here, I'm going to go ahead and reach for the oil filter. Take the oil filter off and let the, what's left of the oil drain drain. So, it shouldn't be too difficult here to loosen this thing up. As long as it was put on hand tight. Alright, hold on, I might take a little bit more force. Well, a little tight. I can't get it off. Just by hand. So, luckily, I have this. It sounds like a little bell or something like that when you hit it, but it's like a cap that'll go over that. And I just put a, um, like a breaker par or, you know, a ratchet, something like that. So, just to break that loose. So, I'm going to go ahead and just bust that loose and get it out of the way. Nothing to it. Okay. Alright, the filter has been removed. You can see the spot where the filter was. Everything's just kind of dripping along. Um, what you want to do is the outer ring. It's kind of hard for me to reach. Just bear with me for a second. As I get a little bit closer in here. Alright. In here, there's a little ring that goes around the outer edge. You want to get a rag there and try to, or try to um, wipe that down, get it as clean as possible before we screw in the uh, new filter. And uh, just make sure when you put the new filter on, it's good and snug, hand tight. Don't try to put any special tools and wrench it down like the dealership did to this one. It was a little bit of a pain to get off, but you know, it finally went, got loose. I didn't have to stab it with a screwdriver or anything like that, so that was a good thing. But as you can see in here, I got the, you can see that little cap that I showed you a minute ago, still stuck to the back because I had to use some uh, sandpaper and wedge it in there to keep it from slipping. So, alright, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up, put the plug back in there, and then put the filter back on and get the underside of this car complete so we can go top side and add some oil and check things out all right now that we're topside I've got everything down below all tightened up I'm going to add this uh, mobile one advanced fuel economy 0w20 uh, Honda offers uh, 0w20 finally at the local store they I found a jug of this stuff for a pretty reasonable price so I'm gonna go ahead and use Mobile One is what I use in my 98 Civic. You'll see it probably just a few seconds as I back this car out. But what you want to do is just slowly add this oil. It's not quart for quart. You know, this vehicle takes roughly just maybe like a little over four quarts. But what I do is I just slowly pour. See, as you can see here. You know, just slowly pour it on in there. And then um, I go down a little bit. Or, uh, you know, if you look at the back here, you'll see like a little level. If you level it out, you can kind of see where you're at and count the hash marks there. But, um, what you want to do with that is just slowly get it in there after about a few quarts, at least two quarts. You might want to go ahead and check the dipstick right there, kind of see where you're at. I like to put in like a three or a little over three, and uh, just enough to show up on a dip dipstick and then start the car, let the oil go through. And then I can get me a good, uh, solid level. Because uh, on the dipstick, there's two holes. You want to get up to that top hole, the hole closest to the uh, top of this dipstick here, not the bottom. Because if it's at the bottom, you're probably about a quart low. So you want to pull it, bring it on up, and I'll show you what it's like as soon as I'm done filling this up. Uh, I put in about three quarts of oil. Put the oil down there by looking at the little indicators, little hashes on the back side. Check my dipstick, it was about to the uh, the lowest hole. You can kind of see way down here. That hole right down at the bottom there. So I'm gonna give it a start. Here we go, make sure you clean this engine bay of anything, trash, paper towels, whatever you have, you don't wanna get that caught up in there. You wanna crack, if, like I'm inside my basement, but if you wanna Make sure you crack the door, that'd be great. You don't want to get 
that carbon monoxide. And see, there's there's a 98 sitting. The laundry's done. So uh, anyway, we're gonna get in here. Start. Oh, excuse me. Let me. I didn't grab the keys. But uh, what you want to do? Well, I, never mind. The 98 Civic there, I've done so much work on it, it's ridiculous. Never done any videos on it though, but... So anyway, let's get in here. Start her up. You should get like an engine oil light, possibly, and then it'll just go away. Uh, I don't think I did, so that's pretty cool. You want to run for a second, you want to let the um, uh, oil filter and everything, you know, fill on up, get some... You know, burp it down there a little bit, get some oil moving around. So, I'm gonna run this for about a minute and then I'm gonna turn it off and head on to the front of the engine and continue filling it up to its uh, max. Alright, now we're complete. I went ahead and I put enough quarts. As a matter of fact, it took pretty much the entire jug, five quarts there, uh, to fill this up. Pulled out the dipstick, oil's up to the second hole, uh, which is a great thing. One thing I like to mention is I'm a stickler for you know anything that you know spills or drips I can't stand that kind of stuff you know the, the mess that other mechanics may leave so I like to double check my work here and uh, before I consider this vehicle uh, road worthy for my wife and son and myself is just double checking to make sure those things are on, they're tight, everything looks good. I don't have anything laying around that I've messed with. You go underneath <clears throat> and you double check to make sure that oil plug and that oil filter are not leaking. Alright, make sure you put everything on there good and snug. So, let's go on inside the vehicle. <clears throat> okay. All right, so in our, you know, 2010 owner's manual, it shows here pretty much, let me go to the right page real quick. Page 350. All right, right here. Adding engine oil, changing the engine oil filter. Kind of gives you the whole lowdown where I was at, the things that you've seen, okay? The oil capacity, stuff like that. So that's cool. Now back to the maintenance minder. Uh, excuse me. This first part here. All right. This is our information board, the pictures you saw. Now we're going to go ahead and clear it. Resetting engine oil uh, life display. That's what we're going to do next. All right. It says to turn the key to the on. All right. I got the engine oil life display. Let's go back to it here. All right, you see up below says B13. All right, you saw that. So on here, the next page over, the maintenance binder, B. These are all the things you need to do for B, okay? You ins inspect these items, check your parking brake, inspect the front and rear brakes. This is stuff I'm going to need to be doing here, like, pretty much right away. Uh, and it said three. So what's three? Replace transmission fluid. All right? If you tow a CRV behind, you know, whatever. Um, so the transmission fluid is next. But uh, what I do is I mark that down because I don't have the fluid. I'm prepared to do this, but not this weekend. The main part was I, wanting, I was wanting to get the uh, oil life taken care of. So... What I'm going to do is I clear this out and I'm going to take note about what needs to be done so we can take care of that at a later date, which is not very far from now. So while I oil life, you want to push this button in for about 10 seconds. All right. Okay, there you go. Oil life, and you, you turn this little knob. See that? So, oil life. And then you just push it in. Okay? See that there? And then you hold it down for five seconds. Okay. 
There you go. Now it's back to back to normal. All right. Now don't get upset. I do have it noted what kind of maintenance needs to be done. All right. So we'll be taking care of that at a different time. But that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. I hope your adventures with your CRV or Honda or, or any other vehicle are just as awesome as mine. All right. Take care.